Okay, a quick review of what's important in star spectra. And, and the first thing to know is that if we're talking about the spectrum of a star, it's necessarily going to be an absorption spectrum. That is, it'll be a continuous spectrum overlaying with absorption lines. So all the colors of the rainbow stretched out from blue to red the way you see it here and uh, overlaying with uh, maybe a missing line. So we might see a, a, the a black part of the spectrum in here where this would be a um, a, uh, a missing uh, color uh, let's just say that's an absorption line right in there and that would re represent a particular color of blue that's missing okay so that we're talking about absorption spectra everything that we we're saying here is based on uh, judging those lines whether there's a line in the blue or one in the yellow or in the red or the orange whatever um, first thing to know is that, if, that uh, when we talk about spectra if we're talking about the Sun Sun is a G2 Roman numeral 5 okay and the meaning of that is that uh, it's a moderate temperature and that's told us by the, the G the 2 tells us it's uh, somewhere between a, a G and a, and a um, K uh, maybe two tenths of the way between the beginning the hottest part of a G to the uh, coolest part of a, of a G or the beginning of the K range so we're looking at O B A F G K M the two means that it's two tenths of the way between G and K okay and if we compare that the Sun if we want to look at uh, say the North Star okay North Star Polaris um, Polaris is a star that's uh, an F5 Roman numeral 4. Okay, and the, and the meaning of that is that uh, when you uh, talk about the, uh, the Roman numeral 4, that means it's not quite a giant. If it were a Roman numeral 3, it would be a giant. If it were a Roman numeral 5, it would be a dwarf like our sun. It's midway between those two. Um, if we um, mention, uh, let's talk. Let's just talk about Rigel. Okay, and we've mentioned Rigel in the constellation Orion, and Rigel is a uh, B8 one star. Okay, B means it's hot, so we're looking at a sequence from the Sun G to uh, Polaris F, all the way down to um, Rigel a B, that's a sequence of increasing temperatures. A hotter, the hottest star of those three is the B star uh, Rigel, and that's because it's right here in the in the sequence of temperature. Um, the Roman numeral one means that it's a supergiant. So um, we can talk about a Roman numeral five. We can talk about a Roman numeral four. We can now talk about a Roman numeral three. Roman numeral one. There's actually occasionally you'll see a, a Roman numeral two. So this is an in, a sequence of increasing size and therefore increasing absolute magnitude.